spread of fake news is uh, very rampant in, in our dear country uh, currently. Uh, a main example is uh, just what happened last week with uh, dear president and his Amaya. <laughs> so those, those are the kind of news that uh, we want to call attention of, of our dear uh, citizens in, in the states to be mindful and know how to tackle uh, this kind of uh, fake news. As you know, the title is uh, Stop, uh, Check and Reflect. Uh, that is a simple uh, three-step uh, way uh, of verifying how to actually uh, know whether something is real or not. Because what, what happens nowadays is that people are actually uh, looking for fame. So in such a procedure, everybody is looking for the news to just uh, pass and then it's, it's, uh, yeah, he wants to take the credit that the news came out of him. Uh, the MC actually skipped uh, something, so I would like to uh, do it again. The uh, introduction of, of the speakers. We have uh, Dr. Mr. David Ajikobi, he came uh, from Lagos, uh, from Africa Checks, as you can see the banner over there. Uh, we actually had uh, a very good uh, uh, facilitator here. And uh, we also have uh, Mr. Brian from uh, International University of Languages. He, uh, as you hear, International University of Languages. Uh, the, the, uh, he is also a very good uh, facilitator and we, we were very uh, hoping that the event is uh, going to be made to us on I would like to call on Malam Al Hatu Al Director, Partnership Office, International University of Languages, to please sit down here. So, thank you all very much for uh, acknowledging our, our, our invitation, and we hope that uh, by the end of this program, we'll be able to uh, make a meaningful impact on, 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 on this uh, particular uh, program. And uh, as, we, uh, as we saw from the flyers, the program is going to be uh, in, in, in different categories, actually three, three, three categories. This is the first category taking place today, which is the public lecture on, on, on spreading of fake news. And the second category is going to, the second and third category, they're going to take place tomorrow, which is going to be uh, first in the morning uh, session on radio by our facilitators and, and our members uh, at Garkoa FM. They are also uh, part of our partners. And then the last session is going to be a uh, media chat which is going to hold on Twitter. As we all know, uh, most people are on Twitter now. So the media chat is going to hold on Twitter later in the evening. So we indulge you all to uh, participate on the media chat. It's, it's going to be very meaningful and, and, and light. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, some of the people. Good morning, sir. We are from Lagos. We are very happy. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. Um, first of all, let me thank you all for inviting me. Uh, 
right now for picture and I'm going to do a photo. This is not my first time in South Africa. This is my second time. Uh, my first time I came in for a US University sponsored project to train journalists at um, the Grand Ingo Hotel. So, so do you all have this? So, if I come all the way from Lagos, and this, you understand what is in this poster, back and forth, you know, there's, there's one in front, and there's another one at the back. If you get the message, then my job here is what? Done. Then I've, I've made a fantastic job. So I'm not going to be with your smartphones. What chamber? All of us are in. What chamber? Yeah. So we are not going to tell you about oh, fake news is this, fake news is that, blah, blah, blah. We all know what fake news is. And I will tell you the implications of fake news and why it's very, very dangerous. But most importantly, I'm here to give you skills and ways you can detect fake news on your words, smartphone. Because this is where fake news comes from, isn't it? Are we, anybody, we all know WhatsApp, are we? WhatsApp. We have that one phone call, one auntie, our daddy, our mommy, who always send us fake news, isn't it? Yes. So I want to teach you how to. I'll basically be teaching you how to uh, check those things. Yeah. Yeah, she interacted with Amma. Interacted with Amma. Amma, I'm going to ask you. Yeah, please. Oh, oh. Eh? Me? Ah, well. It's okay like this. So, so where in the case one can do life? I have a live one. Live is okay. I have a live one. See, they want to change that. I think you want to change that. Okay, but fast food, let's go. Um, like I said, my system is going to be very practical. Uh, a, bit, a bit of theory and some um, practicals. So essentially, the two spots are the bomb fake news on the walls. Smartphone. My name is David Ajikobi. Um, I am the Nigerian editor of Africa Check. Um, that's my, my phone number, my email address, um, my Twitter handle, and my Instagram handle. Um, in case you want to reach out to me, I'm always available 24 7. Um, Africa Check is the first independent fact checking organization in Africa. And that's what our website looks like. We debunk and we fight. I get paid to fight fake news. That's it again. Um, we are independent and not partisan. We assess claims made in the public and we now use journalistic skills and evidence drawn from publicly available resources and experts. And we publish our findings at uh, AfricaTech.org. <coughs> But before I continue, who can tell me what is fact? What is fact? Please. When we say fact, we are talking about reality with elements. Good. Did you, read, did you hear what I said? Reality is what? Evidence. Basically, say not something that can be part of the world. 
evidence. Hello? But what is opinion? Yeah. What is opinion? Anybody? Yeah, sure. Anybody? Believe is someone. Yeah. Opinion is someone belief and perception. Fantastic. Please let me give you a round of applause. <laughs> opinion is someone's belief and what perspective. For some of us that left before, if I say Messi is the highest goal scorer of 2017, is that part of opinion? Messi is the highest goal scorer in 2017. Is that part of opinion? Because you can go and check the number of goals he scored, right? But if I say, C. Ronaldo Ororo is the best footballer in the world, is that part of opinion? Opinion. Who said part? It's opinion. Who said part here? Who said part? Where is the best person part? You can imagine for your idea. Okay, there is a C. Ronaldo but you see, the idea is that sometimes the reason why many of us fall for fake news is that we don't understand the difference between facts and opinions. Opinions cannot be backed by what evidence. This is what based on a belief or a point of view. And this position do is a loss. And I'll explain it to you. Facts are something that can be checked and which are part of what? Evidence. Well, let's play this game. If I say Nigeria the lot, how many of the do you know? How many kinds of the do you know? How many can I? How many the lot do you know? There's Ghana the lot price. Ah, don't you know? You don't need the lot price. Why is it late? You know, we don't want to guess. We don't want to guess. We don't want to guess. Because we expect to guess. Yes. So, ladies, how many kinds of the lot price do you know? Do you put for your... Your husband has preference. No, don't move the low price. Ego generation. Ego generation. Okay. Just let you know there's Nigeria the low price. There's Ghana the low price. There's Ghana the low price. There's the low price from Senegal. Olaf. Yeah? There's the low price from the Gambia. There's the low price from Zambia. Yeah, different places. But if I tell you that Nigeria the Lord is the best of all in the world, it's not fact or opinion. Or or opinion. opinion. Eh? Who said? Who said? If you think it's fact, you should raise your hand. No, no, no. See, the reason why this is interactive is because it will allow us to see why fake news tries and how it affects us. It's coming that we are going to know if it's fact or opinion. Let's go ahead. You said what, sir? Why do you think it's fact? I believe it's fact because it has been proven. How has it been proven? We've seen it online, we've seen it in a lot of places that Nigeria and Jolot Christ have heard from people that they say all the energy. Okay. Now, if there are five different types of tools in Kappa, hmm? and I have tasted all of them, and I now say, Adamama two is the best word. Is that fact or opinion? That's what? your opinion. Eh? That's your opinion, but other people can gather together and confirm it that it's a fact. No, 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 But let me tell you, you can see that sometimes the line between facts and you can see that. Sometimes the, the line between facts and opinions can be blurred. Now, what you are saying is that if people still come together and eat it and agree, if we use five from there, it's still from their world, personal perspective and it's their world opinion. Do you understand? It's still their opinion. Another person that can come and say, we tested it and it's not the best. It's still their world opinion. That's why it's important because I can wake up this morning now and I cannot taste salt. And I will eat the rice. And I will say the rice is not good. That's my perspective. Somebody else will make the rice in the morning and say, ah, at the Yoruba people don't like their rice. You know, they don't they put too much pepper in their rice. Do you see how your perspective can affect and let's move forward quickly? Okay. But before I go,
I want us to play this game because I don't, I don't have too much time. So I just want to quickly. Now this few slides, I want you to show I want you I want you to show you why fake news spreads and why you all why we all fall for fake news. So why facts matter? Why we say facts? You know, we know the difference between facts and opinion. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you don't understand what facts are, you can't help but you won't be able to use this. Facts matter because everything we do in our daily lives is based on the quality of information available to us, right? The reason why I bought this phone is because maybe somebody said the phone is a good phone. If they say they are fighting in the um, main market, you go there because of the information you have available to you. If they say ah, they are collecting information in the, in the central market and you have a child, which you take your child there, right? So everything about our lives is based on the kind of information available to us. So when you have bad information, Bad information can, and this is how fake news works. Bad information can prevent people from seeking or finding appropriate help. And changes means around prejudice, specifically race. Let me give an example. Do you know, Nollywood is a form of media. Do you know? Nollywood is a form of media. In every Nollywood movie, the guess man is always aware. The guest man is always an outside man. The cook, the uh, house girl is always from where? Uh, eh? Oh. House girl. He's a kite now. Uh, He's Kalaba. Uh, the driver, maybe Yoruba uh, or Igbo. Now, it's because Nollywood has been pushing certain kinds of tropes and narrative over the years. Not all outside men are gay men, right? 
Not all uh, house girls are from Calabar, right? But that shows you how people will begin to see. So bad information also marginalizes individuals and communities. It creates unnecessary fear and what? Panic. It limits appropriate allocation of resources or strategic responses. So facts don't function on their own. They interact with and inform each other as part of a complex system of information. Can we all see this? Okay, good. So when they tell you that fake news, fake news, fake news, so what is fake news? I will, I will talk about it from a, very, from a higher perspective. What, else, what is fake news? Fake news. In fact, it's, it's, there, there are two things. There's misinformation and there's disinformation. Misinformation is when somebody did not know that the information is false and sent it to you. A WhatsApp message. The person didn't know it's false. It's not deliberate. But disinformation is when somebody starts somewhere and concocted or changed an image or edited an image and spread it to call the word confusion. That is disinformation. It's deliberate. So these are different types of disinformation and misinformation. When they're talking about fake news, if you understand this, then you're good. The first one is false connection. When the headlines, visuals, or captions don't support the content, you have false context. So can we pick up one of the lights so that they can see this very well? No, just press that. Good. Manipulated content is when genuine information or imagery is manipulated towards deceive. There's satire or parody. No intention to cause harm, but has the potential to work to fool. There's misleading content. When misleading use of information to frame an issue or and when imposter content, when genuine sources are impersonated and fabricated content, when new content that's 100% false and designed to do um so let me give you examples how many of us know about the xenophobic attacks recently in south africa have you watched it have you yes we also did different videos and pictures have you now let's, let's do more simple mathematics nigerian mathematics who is laughing who is laughing again if you had poverty in the land, you had it to rising youth unemployment, and you had it to anger. You are angry with this country. You are very angry with this Plus misinformation. Please put out there and give me the answer. Next level. Next level. What do you say? Collapse. Collapse. No. Well, this is the one saying collapse. How about this? No, stop. I'm going to stop. They collapse it. They collapse it. Good. We need to be collapse it. Who else? Next level. Next level. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That next level is a very dangerous next level. <laughs> but we all realize that if you mix all of these things together, what will happen is a bad worst scenario. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, yes. Now let me show you one example. One of you will open your mouth when I show you this example. Please, I want all of us to read this. Okay, Jacob, to Excuse me. We need to on the light because we are doing live video coverage. Gotcha. Who said that? All of us. All of us. Can somebody take the microphone and read it out to us?
And yeah. then I believe that all of you here yeah, know it is a lie. Uh, evil are not the only trials that are killed in South Africa. We all know this movie in the newspaper, we also watch on TV. So, this is uh, part of what we got as misinformation or false information or sort of that things. It's a lie, complete lie, a capital lie. <laughs> it's a bad lie. I'm just going to call it later. From the news, you can see they say Hausa flag. I have a question. In South Africa, do we have any Hausa flag here as president or vice president here? Hausa don't have any power here. Money can't buy anything out of your country. If you are not in your country, you can't do anything. You don't have the power. So this is a total lie. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Please, if you want to talk, anybody else? Okay, let me ask the next question. Okay, go ahead, yes. I believe it's a, a big news because when the news came out then, it doesn't specify those they are attacking in South Africa because it was a general attack on all blacks. Whether they are in Nigeria, whether they are in whether they are in South Africa, it's African action. Yes, but now seeing this now, it shows that they are specified in the other states also. So do you think this is deliberate or not? It's deliberate. It's deliberate. It's very, very deliberate. And this is a classic example of this. I can recite, 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 I so from that, I think they are, they are not telling the full story to this is in Thank you very much. Okay. Um, as I said, I think it is, because this is not the thing, there are other parts. Can you share some terms of the mind to the Now, can somebody tell me the implication? Can somebody tell me the implication? Hello? So, can somebody tell me the implication okay, of this message? What can it cost? Madam, where are you talking about? Anybody else? Can please do that? Yes. What? What? What can this be cause? What can it lead to? It can cause chaos. It can cause chaos, right? Right. Eh? Now let me let me let me let me explain something to you. Two things. It can cause ethnic violence and religious wars. Violence. So this piece of disinformation is so loaded that yes, if we are not careful, if we continue yes, like this, people are propagating things like this, we might be one fake news away from what crisis in this country. Yes or no? Yes. Remember during the Ebola outbreak? People were sending WhatsApp messages that they should drink salt and bake in salt. Let me tell you three things that happened during that time. People, some people died from drinking salt water. For sure, I mean. Two, the price of salt in the market went up. <laughs> <laughs> right? And it caused what? Chaos. Now, so this is why it is important for you to understand what fake news is. And the structure. There are different definitions across the world. A lot of people have been defined it in several ways and things like that. But there are three things, three constructs that usually stand out in any definition of fake news. Which is the first one is what it is what completely what sure. completely fictional. Somebody what most likely made it up. Number two is what deliberate. There are people who are making millions of dollars from fake news. Money, good money, clickbait, you know, different things. 
Then he found what he bought. He intended to generate profit. Profit is not only money, do you know? Yes. Yeah. So during the election, there were a lot of fake news going around. PDP, ABC, PDP, ABC, this one, this one. Those kind of disinformation was intended to generate what? Political what? Profit. As you cannot go to America, and so different things. They were all being shared and propagated to generate political profit. To sway the minds of people in a way. So, fake news is deliberate and intentional. And it's not fictional. Uh, 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 Story anywhere, anytime. You can use your computer, uh, you teach you how to press and triangulate data, and you have to think uh, more uh, critically about the sources you use. Uh, the basic tools uh, to check for accuracy and context is data correct and has it been correctly applied. But most importantly, the number one tool to fight fake news is what? Let's not say that. What? Common what? Is it common? No, Not anymore. Good. I just have to show you just a, a little session on why. Common sense is not so common these days. The third one. The third one. So over here, she will like. Mosquito. Yes, this one is a shark. That's a snake. And that's a mosquito. Mosquito. So which one are you most afraid of? If you have wait, go away. See, it's a shark. Raise your hand. Shark. 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 Why are you afraid of a shark? I'm not afraid of a shark. No, which one are you most afraid of? If you are most afraid of a shark, raise your hand. Why shark? Uh, I am a worker. I am a worker. Very fast. That is the post-surgery. Diamond. 
that you know, will be going for uh, a great subscription or something, and then you end up missing the subscription. Anybody else? I think I'll try the most. No. But what about this no, no, no. table of mistake? Raise your hand in the state. Who did you miss it? Are you two? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, why is this? To make a type of red chart, it is plus. You can suddenly find a snake under your bed. The pillow, when you are taking bath. The pillow. And after your pillow, you can find a snake. This is a person that is all of them. Okay, I'm afraid of snake because it's among the endangered species. Endangered species. Okay. Now you are most afraid of mosquitoes. Mosquito. So you are not afraid of mosquitoes. We are used to mosquitoes. We are used to mosquitoes. No, I say you are most afraid of mosquitoes. No. Actually, the mosquitoes are always on duty. Always on duty. Anybody else? Okay. 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 Okay.
This is how misinformation and disinformation works in our head. Because I am Aosa, because I'm Ido, because I'm Yoruba, because I'm from this place, because I'm